Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Opinions Matter and today we got something very very interesting in the channel. ND filters have finally arrived and thanks to Tech5 for making this happen because I could not physically afford the ND filter. So time for some field test and today what we are going to do is that we are going to first do the unboxing. So all of you guys who are looking for that unboxing, it's going to happen today and then from there we are going to take it to the test. So let's jump in this purpose we are using um, the polar pro limited edition and a vivid collection that's what polar Pro, polar pro calls it as so as you can see the cinema series or uh, you know like the vivid collection series has got a nd4 nd8 nd16 pl and which is a polarizer on the other hand the limited collection actually has got a lot of punch it has an nd3264 then it has an nd32 pl and an nd64 polarizer so that's a very interesting series the vivid collection compared to sorry the limited collection compared to a vivid collection question is why polar pro why not any other company well uh, polar pro is the only company that actually gives you information about how many stops of light because uh, if you are thinking nd4 pl and if you are a total newbie you do not know how to use nd filters they actually tell you when to use sunrise sunset is for example the nd4 pl which actually has two stops of light and then if it's partially cloudy you can use three stops of light and use an nd4 pl so all of that information will be available at the back of the packaging and you can also go to their um, you know website and you can go to their app store i'm going to post a link below where you can go and see these products out for yourself these are not cheap filters guys these are very expensive filters but uh, everything comes at a cost so why that's the reason we selected these filters today to uh, show you guys and how it performs so both the vivid collection and the cinema series they do come in this uh, tiny box this box is actually really really beautiful and it holds your glass or the filters uh, more secure so that there is no sort of dust going inside this boxes so uh, that's a very unique experience when you get to get these filters on your hand now let's do a field test with this and I'm going to attach filter by filter. So at first we are going to open up the cinema series and uh, we are going to attach uh, ND4 uh, polarizer. So let's go ahead and attach that ND4 polarizer. So it's a snap on. So what it does is that hold on a second. It will just snap on to it. So that's with the ND4. Then we are going to take out the ND4. We are going to attach the ND, ND8 and this is an ND8 polarizer. So again a snap on test so that's with the nd8 you guys uh, tell me the in the comment section what do you think about the nd8 so we are going to take out the nd8 again and uh, now we are going to switch to nd16 polarizer guys so this is going to be nd16 it's very tricky uh, because uh, these are very very small polar uh, polarizer kind of a filter so that's nd16 uh, polarizer so let me know what you think so this is without and this is with the ND16 polarizer kind of a filter. So that's with ND16. Now, now to begin with, again, we are going to use uh, we are going to use this with this uh, ND filter. This is an ND32 polarizer. So this is an ND32 polarizer. Let's snap on. So let's snap on to this. So as you can see, this is an ND32 broad sunlight. The sun is coming from this side, and uh, we are going to remove the ND32 and. Uh, then uh, we are going to uh, attach another filter to it which is the nd64 now let's attach the nd64 to it so that is with the nd64 now the fun part comes when we attach without the polarizer and just a regular nd filter so what's this this is not a polarizer with an nd this is just a regular nd and let's see how the footage changes with the nd filter only now this is only nd32 guys only nd32 so we're going to attach this and that's with the ND32 uh, pretty insanely good kind of uh, saturation so notice the saturation change exposure change and everything and uh, now this is with uh, this is with the ND64 
and uh, this is with the ND64 and as you can see I've attached to the ND64 on top of it and that is ND64 so let me down know down in comments below what you think what filters uh, were right and uh, let me do some shots also in pro mode so let's stop this video and bring in begin some pro mode shots alrighty so this is going to get shot uh, without the ND filter now what we are going to do is that on the run we are going to bring the ND filter we are going to place it hold on a second it's very tiny okay magnetic clip and this is with the ND filter so look at the greens and the colors and how it holds on to it another time this is facing the Sun right now look into the sky the sky looks pretty much saturated right and then again we are going to move this ND filter and see what happens then and you can see definitely the sky is a little bit overexposed and again we are going to bring this back again and look at that sky look at the greens and the color shades and the color saturation amazing job polar pro on that look into the sides of the video also because in that way you are going to know whether it's facing any sort of aberration distortion or any other problems so there you go guys you can now directly with your ND filter look into the Sun because without the ND filter this would have been like this so you still see still see that there is a lot of exposure going on and Osmo pocket tries to adjust but with the ND filter look at that so definitely definitely a great buy so thank you for watching this video